Welcome, Blake here, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I've been using ChatGPT and AI to create higher quality video content faster than ever before this year. And in particular, going into things such as how to use AI and ChatGPT to quickly and easily come out with a bunch of video content ideas, convert those ideas into video outlines, convert those outlines into compelling hooks and intros, even into descriptions, and at the end, sharing with you a bonus tip that you can implement right away today to benefit your content and save you upwards of two hours of work. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So yes, I do use ChatGPT and AI to save myself time when creating content and to also enhance the content that I'm creating as a whole. But I do not take what ChatGPT shares with me, use it word for word in a video or in a written post, knowing that at the end of the day, it doesn't encompass my voice, my tonality. And all those factors come into play when creating unique content. And although AI and ChatGPT can be very powerful content creation tools that I'll be sharing with you in this video, to me, they're not meant to replace the creative person behind the content creation process. So I feel like that's super important to note. And with that aside, let me show you how to use this. So write me some creative video ideas around AI content creation for creators. So we can see here it's generating multiple different ideas for us to help really flesh out the direction I was looking to take this video. And more than anything, I had an idea of where I wanted to take this video coming into it with that topic that I originally mentioned when sharing that into here. but. The point is this helps me think differently about what I want to include and encompass within this video as a whole. Let's see here, AI versus human content creation. Behind the scenes, AI content creation. Take your viewers behind the scenes to see how AI generated content is created, show them the tools and techniques used and explain how AI, AI algorithms work to create content. AI content creation for social media. Create a video that showcases how AI can be used to create engaging and shareable social media content. Highlight some of the best AI powered tools for creating social media content and give tips on how to make the most of them. How to use AI for video for content creation, the future of AI content creation, AI and creativity. There's a bunch of ideas here that were super, super helpful. And honestly, I kind of used a conglomeration of two and three. And the outputs that were generated in this are slightly different than the original outputs that were generated when I first did this a few days back before recording this video. But what we can also do from here and what I like to do if I'm not happy with what it did generate initially, it either comes down to two things. Either I wasn't clear enough with the question or request that I asked it, or number two, I needed to generate more samples or examples to share with me. So what I could do from here is simply say, So I could keep doing this over and over and over again. It's just gonna to continue to spit out more and more ideas, which is just crazy to me. This is super, super powerful. So I can take here and pull out the ones that I like and that I wanna include or encompass and go deeper on those with them in this chat, which I'll do here next. And I can also take the other examples that maybe I don't wanna use for this video now, but I wanna use in the future for future video content ideas and future content creation. So let's play with going deeper with the example that I resonated with the most, which is number two, behind the scenes AI content creation. So if I know that this is my favorite from what they generated, what I can do from here is So now it's working backwards to generate the title. So you can see here over five options so far, AI video content creation, how to create compelling video content with AI, maximizing your video content strategy with AI, a bunch of great ideas here that are now very specific for the title of the video and that are also SEO optimized for search terms and ranking on YouTube search as well. So now that with this list refined, I'm probably gonna be going with number two here or number one in this list. So. So we can see here is this spits out the whole outline for the video. This is already a super helpful foundation for me in terms of working backwards and figuring out what I'm all going to include in this video. Now, in this example that we're seeing here, I took a little bit of a different approach where I actually went into specifics of using AI for video content creation as we're doing here from generating idea to the title, to the description, to the intro, et cetera, the components that make up that video and using AI to streamline that whole process. But I can easily let ChatGPT know that and say, hey, this outline is great, but I'm looking to take it in this direction. Can you regenerate the outline for me? And then we can see from here in the introduction script, it came up with welcome to our video on AI content creation, how to create compelling video content with AI. In today's fast paced world, video content has become one of the most effective ways to engage with audiences and build brands. And with increasing availability of AI powered tools, creators can now leverage artificial intelligence to enhance speed, efficiency, quality, et cetera. 
just by reading this alone right away, I can tell you right now that I would never use this as an intro in my video because it does not sound anything remotely like me whatsoever. And this is one of those examples where this output is not in my voice. It's too complex. It's too busy. And it's just not something that I know that I would come off saying in my video and doesn't align with me. So what I'll do from here is once I've started to work backwards from generating the title to generating the outline to generating the introduction script for the video and the hook, because if I'm not happy with the output that they share, just like in this example where this isn't me, I'll go deeper with it and have them break it up in a more simplified approach. So first, what I'll do from here is say, So now this switch alone already helped things immensely. We can see it took it from this message before in this introduction script, which again, there's nothing like my voice or me or anything like I'd say. And all they simply did was say, can you make this more conversational? Now I'm not expecting this conversational output to be perfect spot on to where I'm just gonna take this, copy it and say exactly word for word what this is. But this is already going more in the direction that I want. And we can see here, hey, are you looking for new ways to create engaging video content? that stands out from the crowd, well, you're in luck because in this video, we're going to explore how to use AI and how it can revolutionize your video content creation process. With the increasing availability of AI powered tools, you can now leverage the power of artificial intelligence to enhance speed, efficiency, quality of your video creation work. In this video, we'll dive into how to use AI and how it's used in video content creation. Again, even as I'm sure you could tell, as I'm reading through this, I gradually kind of pulled back and saying things word from word from what I read because it just didn't flow naturally. It didn't sound like me. It wasn't in my voice. It was much better than what it was in the original output and we're moving in the direction that I want, but it wasn't where I wanted it to be. So what I typically do from this point, rather than trying to get it to perfect my voice, which I know it won't, I want to just basically create the foundation for the intro to give me something to run with and play freely with so I can feel natural when I'm saying it and test it on camera. And now we can see it's coming up with hook, coming up with an intro to what's going to be explored or uncovered in this video, some of the benefits, which I can interchange and make my own here. Um, and again, this is the biggest thing for me where like, I like the hook and the intro here, but what I don't like is the benefits that it emphasize and what this video will do for you. So this is where I customize this, change this. And I use this bullet point outline simply as a foundation for me to get rocking and rolling with actually saying this in the video. So what I'll do from here is take this bullet outline, make any edits to it in a document, and then simply go on camera and practice saying this intro. It may take me two to three times to get to where I want it to, but this bullet list gives me great direction foundation to get going with it. And then I can step in and use my own voice, my own tonality to make it unique to me. Simply put, if I were to rely on AI to be the voice in my head and I used everything that I outputted for the script, for the description and everything in between and modeled it to a T when speaking into camera and sharing videos for you on this channel, I know me personally, I definitely wouldn't want to take the time to watch my cookie cutter content. And I assume that you wouldn't want to take the time or enjoy taking the time to watch that content either. So as we come back to the outputs that were generated before, when we asked ChatGPT to share with us the outline for the video based on the topic that we agreed to or that we liked from what they shared originally, we noted before that it kind of came out with an outline that was a little bit off with the direction that I was thinking. Now, I did note at the time that obviously I customized that based on where I want to take things, but let's show you exactly how we can have them start to customize this for us and take us more in the direction that we want. For me, I'm aligned with this title. This title is pretty much exactly around what I wanted to cover in this video, but the outline wasn't spot on with what I was planning to cover in this video itself. I wanted to more so walk you through step by step how to use ChatGPT to create content ideas for video content creation, to turn those content ideas into an SEO optimized title for YouTube, wherever you're sharing it to. And then from that point, walk you through exactly how to turn that title and idea into an outline for the video, into a compelling hook, into an introduction, and into the description of the video from that point. So with this original outline being misaligned with what I wanted to cover, what I'm gonna do is come back and ask them simply, for the outline of this video, I would like to focus it around the steps to using AI to create video content. Examples include idea generation and video topics, hook intros and scripting and description. So simply put, I could just share this and then we'll come down from here and we can see it's now refining this outline. So first introduction, second idea generation and video topics, which is what was covered, hooks, intros and scripting, description. And then it also goes into editing and post-production, finalizing and uploading, challenges and the future of AI content creation. So obviously, as always, and as mentioned this video many times, I can take this, remove the pieces that I don't like, keep the ones that I do, and develop them further with my own voice. But this alone is already taking the outline in the direction that I was planning to take it to when making this video, and I can copy out what I like here, put it into a doc, and flesh out the remaining steps from that point. 
So with that aside, we have the outline in place, we've refined it further, and now let's talk about how we can use ChatGPT to create an optimized description for our videos. So before we continue on, I go back into sharing my screen. If you're enjoying the content up until this point and you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you have not yet already. So what I'm gonna do from here is open up the video. I'm gonna click the three dots next to the video. I'm gonna say show transcript. And we can see here we have the entire transcript word for word what I'm saying throughout this whole video. So we're gonna copy this over. So with this back inside ChatGPT, as you may have noticed, when I copy that transcript, whenever YouTube generates an auto-generated transcript, it doesn't have any of the proper punctuation in the text itself. Now I could either go through and spend two hours manually to do this. I could pay my virtual assistant to go through and spend two, three hours manually going through, adding the proper punctuation, capitalization throughout the entire transcript or I could use this tool to do it for me, and then from there, use that to automatically import back into my YouTube video to add the properly punctuated transcript into the video itself, saving me two hours of work, and then from there, we're gonna take that and convert that into a description for the video itself. So I'm really going over two benefits here that you can take and use from a transcript of a video. This first one here, as I have set up, is going to be, essentially, I pasted the entire transcript from the video that doesn't have any punctuation within it, and I started by asking a question of, can you take this transcription from my YouTube video and add proper punctuation? Now, beyond this, once this is generated, what I'm also going to do here is use this to create an optimized description, just like I talked about before. So what I have typed up in return is great. The title for the video is X, so I'm pointing out the title for the video. And I wrote this twice in here, so we'll delete that once. With the title in mind and the transcript now ready, can you help me create a compelling SEO optimized description for this YouTube video that I created? I would like to give viewers an idea of what is covered while creating curiosity to watch the video to find out more. And here we are, a short, simple, punchy description that creates curiosity, that invites folks to watch it as they read the description itself, and that encompasses and sums up pretty much everything that's covered in the video within a matter of a couple sentences. This is a lot more optimized than the version that we previously generated, just going off of the, the first prompt that we were using. Taking that transcript where it's literally your entire voice throughout the whole video, popping it into here is helping ChatGPT learn how you're talking through things, what content you're covering, and what is all included in the video itself. And it makes it a lot more powerful for you to come back and from there, ask them to generate an SEO optimized description in return based on the information that they have. So with that second request in place, you can see it spit back a very short, compelling and simple description that's taking into effect everything I shared from the transcript as it learned from that. And also taking into effect the request that I made of wanting this to be a shorter description that's SEO optimized for YouTube that gives the viewers an idea of what's covered while also still creating curiosity to watch the video. And we can see here from the previous descriptions that we generated, this is a lot more optimized than all of the previous ones. The only difference being is there's a few words in here and a few sentences in here that I would definitely come in and change and optimize in my own voice to make it sound more like me. But ultimately, this gives me a great foundation for description and also one that is SEO optimized right away. So with that breakdown complete, with the steps that I shared here in today's video, you should now be armed with enough insight and direction to start using this tool to your advantage to create higher quality video content more effectively and efficiently than ever before. And this is exactly what the tool has done for me. And more than anything, as I've emphasized in this video, I look at ChatGPT and AI as an assistant above anything else. This isn't here to replace me as a creator. And I encourage you creators watching this video to look at AI and these tools as being a source of the same thing for you. Rather than being something that replaces you and your voice, instead something that actually complements you, supplements you, and allows you to create higher quality video content, create more of it, and do it in a more efficient way. And with this being the tip of the iceberg in terms of the power of what this tool can do for your business, we definitely have more content planned coming up on this topic to share with you how I've been using ChatGPT in my business since the start of the year, as I've been consciously putting in more and more time to testing, tweaking, and trying this tool in different ways to come back to you guys here and share with you exactly how I'm using it to benefit me to help you tap into the same benefits. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out on any future videos related to this topic and much, much more as we drop new videos here each and every week. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up below and drop any comments below on your thoughts on AI, ChatGPT, or the content that we covered today. Thanks again for watching and showing your love and support on this video. And I look forward to seeing you back on the next one very soon.